Have you ever felt deja vu? Now imagine that feeling on a cosmic scale. Astronomers scanning the universe have found something that shatters our understanding of reality. 12 galaxies scattered across the sky that appear to be perfect clones. This isn't a coincidence, it's a statistical impossibility, and it's left the scientific community reeling. Is it a trick of light or a sign that the universe itself repeats in ways we've never imagined? Today, we'll trace this mind-bending discovery from the first flicker on a telescope to the global scramble for answers. We'll explore the wild theories and the profound questions these cosmic clones raise about the nature of reality. Join me as we unravel the mystery of the 12 identical galaxies. It started at Alma in Chile, where Dr. Eris Thorne was mapping distant galaxies. One galaxy, UDG-7b, caught her eye, textbook perfect, but otherwise unremarkable. Weeks later, in a different part of the sky, her software flagged another galaxy, ODG-11c. It was identical to UDG-7b in every detail. Thorne checked for errors, none. The data was clean, the coordinates distinct. She shared her findings, expecting a simple mistake, but her colleague found nothing wrong. Two galaxies, separated by millions of light years, were perfect duplicates. Galaxies are supposed to be unique, shaped by chaos and time. Finding two identical ones was like finding two identical snowflakes. The initial reaction was disbelief, not excitement. This was the first whisper of a cosmic mystery that would soon echo around the world. The twin galaxy discovery was met with cautious curiosity. Thorne's team suggested extreme gravitational lensing, a cosmic mirage as the most likely explanation. Lensing can create multiple images but perfect undistorted duplicates? That was a stretch. The case remained a puzzle until six months later a Hubble team found a third identical galaxy in a completely different region. Three galaxies, all identical, all impossibly far apart. The lensing theory snapped. No known setup could create three perfect copies in such disparate locations. Coincidence was off the table. This was a pattern. The quiet confusion in Chile had become a global scientific alert. The universe was repeating itself, and no one knew why. The third clone turned a curiosity into a crisis. The cosmological principle that the universe is uniform was suddenly in question. Could it be a technical glitch? Teams scoured the data, hardware, and software for errors. Nothing. Gravitational lensing theories grew more desperate, invoking cosmic strings and black holes, but none fit the evidence. The galaxy's light signatures and redshifts were identical, and their light arrived in perfect sync. The universe wasn't just showing us the same picture, it was playing the same movie, frame by frame, in three different places. The mystery deepened with every observation. The fourth clone, found in the Dark Energy Survey, shattered all conventional explanations. The odds of four identical galaxies by chance, zero. Lensing models collapsed, no physical law could explain four perfect synchronous copies. The search shifted from passive to active. Astronomers worldwide began hunting for more clones. Sophisticated software scanned archives for the cosmic clone signature. The mood shifted from skepticism to awe. If four existed, why not more? The standard model of cosmology had no answer. The hunt was on. The fifth clone, discovered by FAST in China, matched the others even in radio waves. This wasn't just a look-alike, it was a functional duplicate, down to its gas dynamics. The story exploded into global news. Governments and agencies poured resources into the search. The James Webb Space Telescope and others prioritized follow-up observations. The pressure was immense, and astronomers became reluctant celebrities. Every new discovery was scrutinized, and the demand for answers was relentless. The cosmic clones had become a worldwide phenomenon. With six clones confirmed, wild theories flourished. Some clung to exotic lensing, cosmic strings or networks of black holes, but these couldn't explain the lack of distortion. Others proposed a finite, looping universe. Light from one galaxy could circle the cosmos, creating multiple images. This Hall of Mirrors model fits some facts, but if true, we'd see repeating patterns everywhere, not just a handful of clones. The search expanded to look for these patterns in the cosmic microwave background. The clones forced scientists to question the very shape of the universe. Was reality itself repeating? The game had changed from finding galaxies to mapping the structure of reality. 
The mystery was only getting deeper. The search for a wider pattern was on. The seventh clone triggered an unprecedented global audit, Project Echo Check. Independent teams reanalyzed all data, using different software and hardware. Every analysis confirmed the clones were real. Engineers tested telescope components for flaws, nothing. Even the photon's journey was scrutinized. No unknown physics emerged. The James Webb Space Telescope searched for any link between the galaxies, found only empty space. After months of trying to disprove the discovery, the evidence was stronger than ever. The phenomenon was real. With the eighth clone found, the search went public. The Cosmic Clone Project released sky survey data to the world. Amateurs and professionals joined forces, scanning the sky for more clones. The goal mapped their distribution and test competing theories. Were the clones clustered or random? The answer could reveal the universe's true shape. The search became a global effort, with every new image scanned for the clone's signature. It was only a matter of time before another was found. The ninth clone, found by a high school student in India, brought a new twist. The James Webb Space Telescope revealed that not just the galaxies, but their internal star clusters, were identical. Star formation is chaotic. Yet these galaxies had matching clusters, down to the number and arrangement of stars. This defied all logic and probability. It was like finding nine thunderstorms that all produced the same lightning bolt. The implications were staggering. The universe might be following a deterministic script. The mystery now touched on quantum mechanics and the nature of information itself. Reality was stranger than anyone had imagined. The 10th clone's discovery, alongside the stunning JWST images, ignited a cultural firestorm. Cosmic clone became a household phrase. Theories exploded online, from simulation glitches to multiverse collisions. The idea of a copy-pasted universe resonated with the public. Scientists were bombarded with wild ideas, some inspiring, some absurd. The mystery became a shared human experience, touching on our deepest questions about existence. The search for answers united professionals and amateurs alike. The 11th clone forced science to embrace radical ideas. The simulation hypothesis gained traction. Were the clones a glitch in the code of reality? Physicists searched for signs of digital physics, pixel-like space-time, reused assets. Another theory, cosmic mirroring, suggested the clones were projections of a single higher-dimensional object, entangled across space. Both ideas challenged our understanding of existence and separation. The search for the next clone became a search for new physics. The universe was not what it seemed. The boundaries of science were being redrawn. The twelfth clone, found in the Atacama Desert, brought no answers, only more questions. With twelve data points, no geometric pattern emerged. The clones were scattered randomly. The finite universe model faltered. The randomness fit only the wildest theories. Every conventional explanation had failed. The clones were identical down to their star clusters, verified by every instrument. The universe was breaking its own rules. We were left with theories that sounded like science fiction. The twelfth clone stands as a cosmic question mark, a monument to our ignorance. The search continues not just for more clones but for an answer. The universe refuses to explain itself. Twelve cosmic clones and no explanation. We've ruled out errors, broken our models, and stared into the abyss of possibility. Now it's your turn. What do you think is happening? Is this a simulated universe, a message, or a new law of physics? Share your theories in the comments. Every idea counts. Subscribe for more mysteries from the frontiers of science. Keep thinking and never stop looking up.